This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Osi Godwin, <coughs> and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa <coughs> Thanks. Hi. Hi. Oh, I didn't get the map. <coughs> <coughs> Hello. It's good. Mm. Right. Well, thanks. Great. Mm. Okay, 500,000 Naira giveaway sponsor apologizes to Eniola Badmos. Recall that Nollywood actress Eniola Badmos was dragged. <coughs> okay, I don't know what's wrong with my voice today, but <laughs> Eniola Badmos was dragged on social media last week based on a leaked DM between a sponsor and herself. In a post shared on Instagram by Badmos and captioned a letter from Mr. Giveaway, he said he was sorry and that his brother's friend from Lagos is to blame. He also said he chose not to respond to all the noise on blogs and Twitter because he wanted the issue to die a natural death and for peace to reign. No, I really can't be bothered by this right now. Yeah. There are too many things going on in the world, <laughs> all this back and forth with you and your Mr. Giveaway. You guys should sort yourself out and a letter from Mr. Enough. Giveaway. Like, come on, man. Like, it was totally unnecessary if you ask me because your response was not even solid enough. Then you now come out to show us. You know Why what? is he responding? What did he do wrong exactly? Because from the story, I thought it was her saying 150. Oh, the fact that they leaked mm. the screenshots. Mm. Right. Yeah, so really, you know what? You guys should just say, okay, now I think she know. shouldn't have posted it anymore. Like, we've moved on. Yeah, we've moved And past it that, just like, felt like, okay, what do you want us to keep from to this yeah, side? Definitely you respond. Like, Somebody that dropped 500k for giving away your page. You will see respond and forgive. Mm. I'll forget. Mm -hmm. True. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know, but... Um, the idea of him saying that he's his Lagos brother, be his brother from Lagos that leaked the DM, I don't understand. Do people share the same Instagram handle now? How? Maybe he just sent it to his brother. Oh. I thought about it. Like maybe he just sent. Like I imagine when your life is telling you, and mm. then he sent it to his and brother. And that one decided to, and decided to be a negotiator. Ah, because look. this looks. I feel like she's been digging herself deeper into the ground. Because this looks like she's really trying to like clear her name and she hasn't really gotten the gist of it because this apology is about a screenshot so are you saying that he's apologizing for exposing you but you're not actually sorry that you actually like charged or it was stamp duty and what else no oh, god just What's enough we don't care anymore <sighs> whatever sorry. it is like we've even forgotten the story <laughs> like that's how enough. that's how yeah. much we've moved on like i can't even remember the details anymore okay so moving on no one owes you anything and it definitely cannot be business as usual when we come out of the pandemic. Isn't it time we look at developing our own cure and um, ways to ease ourselves out of the situation? And this is coming from Nollywood actress um, Kate Henshaw. Mm. In as much as this is a good advice, but I don't know when people will wake up and smell the coffee and face their reality and face the reality of the country in which we live in, where we have... Um, political science graduates working as bankers, when we have um, people who studied accounting working as engineers, when we have people who, who studied engineering working as TV presenters, when we have lawyers working as, in, um, okay. We have accountants <laughs> working as engineers. Yeah, the day, of uh, course. Hmm. What's impossible it's, out here? No, it's actually possible. They're just I very said, what's crappy impossible? engineers. And maybe not like frontline engineers where they're touching things, but they're in the engineering industry. It's about, most times now, it's about having the technical know-how. It's not about your certificate anymore. If I, I know how, if I know a bit about engineering and you need me in a space where, of course I'll apply. Yeah, but I'm even, even yeah, just but finish your you're thoughts. you're justifying yeah. the situation right Yeah, finish now. your thoughts. What are you, what? Yeah, before, sorry about that. So, um, like I was saying, we need to face the reality that, okay, this is a country that nothing really works. So if it's a good advice. I think it should be done. But what are we? What are the measures put in place? We don't even have a proper healthcare system. Do we even have good laboratories? If we say we want to come up with a vaccine right now, I don't now? think there's a budget for that. Do you understand? Like, do because we have the budget? Like, I think we research need research and budget um, and vaccine creation has a mass. It's not even health budget. It's a separate budget on its own. Mm -hmm. And, I don't and think then that's not that, that you know. scamming scheme on its own. By the time we say we want to start vaccine right now, come on, man. You know how much okay, billions um, and I, I, are going I that. understand that Nigeria has, you know, it, we have a failed government. I like um, what that guy, Dineo, tweeted. I'm not saying his name well. Maye Dineo, whatever. Mino Delay. Yeah, that guy. Dino Milai. Dino Milai. Dino Milai. 
Oh my god, <laughs> Zina, you are so super dumb. You like Zino <laughs> Zino <laughs> Zino <laughs> no delay. I, I like his tweet when he was talking about how if anyone has ever ruled the government, um, mm. the country or ruled it, then, then you the know. God of the poor. Yeah, and that they failed us. So, yeah, I have to I, I admit and accept that. Um, He's not one of the people who failed us, by the way. He, that's what he's saying. He's saying him and everyone else before and after, during. Um, I, I understand that, that, that they failed us and stuff, but um, I don't really, the tweet doesn't really sit well with me because I don't think the government can do everything. Um, mm. Even abroad, like all the other countries that I've been following that have vaccines or whatever, like it's Madagascar. not government um, initiatives. Even in America, the people that are really focused on the viruses are all university um, bodies, private owned and everything. There's only so much that your government can do for you. Um, and we just have to get together and do it ourselves. I think Lagos is a very good example of that. If not for Lagos, I think in this period, as it has taught me that we're actually, I remember you using a word, I'm not even underdeveloped, I'm not started developing. And I think Lagos is the only thing that makes, makes me say that we're developed. If you take that state out, we're quite backward. Um, but Lagos is another place that has proven to me that with private um, investment and doing it yourselves, yeah. you can get something done. And I don't think that's going to be different for the vaccine. The government can't do everything. The government isn't built to do everything for us. So if there's an institution of people, and yes, there are laboratories that are really good. Um, I remember when this old governor died, and when he was running for governor, whatever, and he wanted to do an autopsy and everything. It was the same noise, but then it's actually individuals, private individuals that came up together and gave us that standard stuff because we're close to that family so i w was quite in involved in not involved but i was exposed to, to um i was exposed to things that, that, that there is um bodies and institutions and laboratories and all that type of stuff in nigeria that exists it's not just government owned so to say that we don't have that it's actually like incorrect. even if we want private i mean i understand the government cannot do everything it's not even possible for everybody to sit down Anything that is working right now has a high chance of, um, say, 70% of um, private sector involved and they have large stake and they're making sure it is working. And that's the way we can move forward. However, the regulations around giving private sectors the opportunity to do what they need to do is also a problem. So if we wake up tomorrow, and also our own acceptance. So if we wake up tomorrow and somebody comes out to tell us, I have, I have a cure to coronavirus, we... In fact, we all will probably laugh mm. at him. Like, well, I better go and sit down. We don't even believe in ourselves. Which one of the, uh, the problems um, we have, we would just laugh over it and feel like, um, what's that? Because let's take away the big grammar vaccine away from this thing. What we need is a cure. Mm -hmm. So whether it's coming from herbs or it's coming from roots or it's coming from whatever you want to cut it, call it, it is a cure. So let's forget about being in a lab and having the kind of Bill Gates and Elon Musk money to have like that kind of laboratory and be picking things with um, whatever it is called. That is not the point. The point is being able to say, okay, so I put this and put this and put this together and if you try it out, it's going to. So it's not as huge as the word vaccine people makes, make it look like. It's about being able to find a cure remember the person who came out to say he had a cure for hiv Dr. and how Dr. it Sibi. was in america or nigeria in nigeria oh, actually okay. we, we we did not give him um the audience that i think he deserved but the interesting part is that a foreign platform actually reached out to him and they had conversations. The, 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 the outcome of that conversation, um, I didn't follow up. I don't know how it, it went. But at least there, there, there was an acknowledgement to know that this person is doing something. So if someone comes out today to say, I have done this, I have, we don't even have enough specimen to go around to say, oh, I've gone to NCDC to say I'm getting this to... I, mean, I, I, I want to believe that people are doing it. But I, I think what I'm just so. trying to say is when it finally happens, may we try to give embrace it, it as well and give it mm. a chance. Because if um, I, I was listening to a track up on the news um, this morning of um, Donald Trump saying that um, he doesn't care about where the cure comes from. It's not about mm -hmm. your country being the first, America being the first, or Italy being the first, that he just wants a vaccine. So at this stage, it's a case of accepting wherever this cure is going to come right, from. So the reason why he, I you know, called out different professions and people not practicing is the fact that we have people who studied microbiology and they're probably the ones to come up with this vaccine or something health related. But how many of them actually started to learn the the job there's quite a few remember that nigeria was one of the first countries to figure out the i've forgotten the science word for it of coronavirus the genome, something yeah like that, yeah remember that like we're not that we're not that failed we i think we have a larger portion of people 
or people in, in the country that have disappointed us and are not doing anything. But there's still a little that... And that we I also do like not pay attention to those who are, who are doing yeah. the job. We have yeah. it. We have it. I wouldn't be surprised if something happens. Then, Even um, in Ghana, because I think um, Ketesha was not just talking about Nigeria. I think she was actually talking about Africa yeah. as a continent. So even in Ghana, something is happening already. And it was this Senegal. They're actually doing something as well. They even have their own... Testing Senegal is one of those testing kids really and their own um, made, And then the Madagascar um, thing, they haven't recorded any debt so far hmm. so i think it's kind of working and different countries are beginning to buy their herbs from mm -hmm. madagascar so let's see how it goes if so it's, if it's an abo treatment by all means <laughs> yeah all right it's time for a quick break we won't return we have more to discuss Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I they see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Rehab Facility is now investigating Scott Disick's photo leak following um, lawsuit threats. Scott Disick had threatened um, to sue the facility after checking out of rehab over a leaked photo. His attorney issued a threat on the matter saying, quote, shockingly, as a result of the HIPA violation of the facility and his violation of privacy, he has checked himself out and is immediately returning home. We are alarmed by this extreme invasion of privacy and plan to take immediate legal action, end of quote. In a statement released to E! News, CEO of the facility said the protection of our clients and personal and confidential information is of the utmost importance to us. It is APN's strict policy to not publicly disclose patient specific information including whether or not a particular client is or was being treated at our facility or has inquired about our services end of quote so how did this happen mm -hmm. probably a staff starstruck it's took a picture it's not that complicated you had a video call with a limited amount of people somebody there did it it's not like rocket science except they sent somebody tapped into it and even if they tapped into it how did they know and when did they know that no, there was going to be scheduled meeting i think they even suspecting their staff member uh, of course <laughs> yeah so it's me. Of <laughs> like no, no, you know because i don't think the option of tapping into it is is even there because it's obviously from the hospital or from the rehab itself so mm -hmm. Yeah, it's from the rehab. It's somebody what do you mean? Like, yeah, of course. Who it's it. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. There's no option of, you wouldn't say, okay, an actor tapped into the system and got right. the video But file. it's actually a ridiculous situation because this is something, I, I feel like anybody working in that kind of facility should understand the rules and regulation of working in that facility and doing <coughs> this doesn't make sense. Right now, you've, you're making someone feel unsafe where they're supposed to actually feel safe to discuss their um, whatever mental health issue um, they are there for. And he had and this to could check even out. Lead so, to a trigger. Do you understand? How, how, how do we ensure his faith in now going to another mm. facility and not um, being exposed to that person this kind is of is very things. irresponsible. Except you have like a serious crush over him. Like, I don't even feel like Scott is like worth all that drama. Like, let's say, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry, but like, calm down because now it's not just about you. It's about the company. It's about like the future of that place. For Scott Disick, like an ex of the well, Kardashian. Like, I'm sorry. Why are you that? What's the big deal in this Scott. person? Oh, Please, God. she needs his picture on the screen. Like, the and then stupid person to also now it's going to leak it. Like, it just, it doesn't, the, the risk of it is just too massive. If it was Beyonce or someone, but there's like levels to these things. It was, it's not like this person, it wasn't not last, oh, last month, sorry to this him. Um, it was not last month, not when they had that book. Look at him. It's not, look it's at, it's not it's about beauty it's now. It's not about beauty. It's not about the person now. It's also about status because it's, oh, it was only status that's the only reason why they leaked something like this now. it's not the first um client that they're having in the whole company is it 
Have you ever heard of anything else? That's true. Like, but there's a big with... deal about squats, actually. I'm sorry, that's... where? Like, You're probably not seeing it. Because, because even, even what's it called, the, yoga, the Vogue thing that um, um, Lady Gaga did, that she took out for outfits, whatever. It wasn't that when we were talking about the fact that she wasn't, they weren't invited in the, in, in the what's it called, the Kardashian family. Courtney and Chloe were not invited, including Scott. So he's not even like, when you're talking about levels to celebrities, he's not even one of them. I don't know. It's just, just list. the risk, yes. So for ah. me, the risk is like, why, why, why not take it for Jay Z or something? Then we would. Jay Z doesn't have anyway, care. whether it's Jay Z or Beyonce or it's Scott, wrong. it is absolutely wrong. And when you're working in an environment, I think it is important to play by the rules of um, the sector you're working in. So, of course, yeah, that's what I feel. So, moving on, Gabriel Union feels odd and weird getting applauded for accepting daughter's gender transition. Speaking on Ellen DeGeneres' show, she said, "Quote to us, it's a little odd to get any kind of recognition." for doing what you are supposed to do, which is love and accept and embrace your kids. Unfortunately, there are so many people who just don't. There are so many people who truly feel um, like their kids are disposable and if they are not perfect images of them, they are not interested. It is heartbreaking, end of quote. Mm, I think um, she deserves an applaud for this one because a lot of people tend to... I can I can't remember the story we're talking about now about yeah it was Mike for saying that he was married and then he behaved himself were you the one that was of the opinion mm -hmm. that he did what he was supposed to do as a married man mm -hmm. so why the boss oh, that he didn't Mike. cheat mm -hmm. that well, why the boss that he didn't cheat in the house you get so I will put this some this is something similar to that you should love your child it's a natural. I don't think do. so. You know, we're having, maybe to a lot of people, I now discovered that to a lot of people, this story might come off because, especially in this part of the world, because even myself, there, even there. Yeah. yeah, because myself and Ife, we're having a conversation with some people in here, I think last week, and they're talking about if your son comes home and tells you he's gay, they're like, ah, we'll beat him, he will do this, mm. we'll kill him. Mm. We'll do. I probably won't beat him or kill him or do this, but it is a big deal for me. And but, the truth is, is there are so many century. people out there who it would be a big deal for them. And for them to even be able to handle it, they probably have to also see a doctor or someone that will set them straight to understand that, you know what? What you need to set someone? This is person I, has I'm decided saying, that they want to be gay. I'm not saying it is <laughs> right. I'm not saying that's the right thing. Even though I am on that table, I'm saying that that is how a lot of human beings on are wired. On what table? That you and wouldn't people, accept your child if they, were, if they made a decision that I was would, different. but it's, it's a difficult process. Right. It is. I'm not going to even joke about it and try to be liberal or say, oh, yes, I'm not homophobic, but oh. in this this situation, and I know that I, I have I to now my own cool <laughs> and <laughs> fit, uh, be cool with the fact that I had a baby boy and now my baby boy is now going to become a baby girl. It is going to be a big deal for me, yeah? But will I kill that child? No. Mm. But it is a big deal. So if people are applauding you, understand that they are looking at it and thinking, hey, this God, let it not be mm. me. It is, mm. it is a big deal, actually. You can't even, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Well, I think the world has moved past that stage of Some it part is of the a world, big though. deal like if I, I don't think so i think in the lgbtq community the transgender people are one of the people that are hit the hardest um it's something that people are really worried about and it's a very tricky situation so um i, I can't say that it's the same there's something very tricky about um dealing with um transgender issues at a young age with a child there's a mm. lot of backlash to that because you're not sure whether or not the child is actually ready and all that type of stuff. But what I would applaud them for isn't just accepting the um, thingy, but really guiding her through it. Mm -hmm. Because she's not necessarily mm. taking any things yet, at least not that they've told us about. So I think there's a lot of factors into it. I like that you mentioned a doctor and psychologist and all that type of stuff to make sure that she is guided the best. There's a lot of cases of people coming out to say that they wish they changed their minds. Some people are suing their parents for allowing them to take such oh. changes when they were younger. Okay. And some people are <laughs> saying that that's the best decision that they've ever had mm. and that they couldn't have taken it they, you know they couldn't have lived another another type of life so it really is up to you as a parent it is your responsibility and your right to be able to accept that child and but guide also them. guide them and it's a risk because if, apart from just being gay there's a lot of things that our parents have forced us to do or thought that that was our best interest and it has ruined us as kids so it's not a fantastic like out of the world um, um like different situation or whatever but the, the core of the matter is that they're supportive to their child yeah. and that's important that's important and then i i saw um some comments and people saying that oh if, if he was oh sorry if she was your child would you let her do this okay do to understand? gabriel yes yeah. and then and a lot there's of a lot of issues that about that like, because the pair the, I, I have a, a well the rumors that are coming out is that the actual mom, mom, mom. is not in support of mm. um um desires um 
tra um, transition that she gave it to Zion and she does not want Zion. Yeah, of course. The, I, I actually thought of that. I didn't even see that comment, but I knew that would come to play. Especially mm. if she's if she doesn't have the kind of mindset that a Gabriel or um, Dwayne Wait, has, yeah. they will, she will probably feel, "Why are you making my child yeah. become this person?" But for me, the, for me, that's absolute BS. And just to bring on the um, feminist cap here, like, why is it that you're blaming the mother? Like. J um, um, Wade is not an imbecile or something. Like, he can use his head, and he's also the parent. So, big shout out to Dwayne, by the way. Yeah, he has retired and, um, from basketball mm -hmm. to focus on the family. So, big shout Good out to Dwayne. Okay, and that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and joining the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ife Olua Oshokeye and Ife Omai, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.